Let's bring back retired Lieutenant General Keith Kellogg for more perspective on this. So, Lebanon's foreign minister, Abdallah Bouhabib, is saying that he hopes for a proportionate response by Hezbollah, quote, so that this wave of killing will stop. I mean, shows, shows the tangled web of Lebanese politics when you have the foreign minister saying, I hope Hezbollah will launch a proportionate attack. I mean, clearly, uh, we know who's running the country there. And what do you think Hezbollah will do? Because just a couple of days ago, Hezbollah was saying that they were prepared to withdraw north of the Latani River if Israel were to stop its attacks and then everything went all sixes and sevens. Yeah, John, again, thanks for having me again. Look, to start with, Hezbollah should have been out of that region 20 years ago because there was a U.N. Security Council resolution, mm -hmm. 1701, said they're supposed to withdraw, in fact, disarm Hezbollah north of the Latani River. They haven't done that. Second, I think what you're seeing is, is you, not to be a pessimist, but I think you're starting to see an escalatory cycle that is going to get quite dangerous because if Hezbollah does respond, <clears throat> be it Haifa or it goes into Tel Aviv, then the Israelis got no option but go really, really hard back into into uh, Lebanon uh, against Hezbollah. And I think that is very, very probable right now. I don't think Hezbollah will take their foot off the gas at all. I think everybody you've had on before has been very, very clear. Part of this issue is that we have not been very determinant, being very clear, very concise on our support of Israel. And Tehran needs to know that, and Hezbollah needs to know that, and the Houthis need to know that, and the Hamas needs to know that, and we haven't sent that signal. Look, the rockets that hit that Drews, uh, that those school children that were playing soccer, mm -hmm. that was a Falak 1 rocket. That is made by only one country, Iran. They know through the forensics where that rocket came from, who shot it. And Hezbollah can say all they want, but they know where the rocket came from, who made it, and what it was intended to do. And I think you're going to see the Israelis be unafraid to go very, very hard on Hezbollah. Look, the war cabinet right now in Israel is really Ron Dermer, former U. Uh, uh, ambassador of the United States from Israel. It's Gallant, the secretary, their secretary of defense, and Netanyahu. The Knesset is out of session. That means they cannot take any political action against Netanyahu. His hands are kind of freed right now to do what he wants to do. The only concern I would have with Israel going into Lebanon right now is do they have the logistics backup to be able to do that? They've been fighting for over nine months in Hamas. They've expended a lot of munitions. We have not backfilled that, those munitions. As you made er, the comment earlier, Netanyahu, Netanyahu came with a, a shopping list, and they haven't gotten it yet. But I think there'll be no option, especially if Hezbollah attacks hard in Israel. The Israelis will respond, and this crisis just got more and more trickier to try to resolve. And, uh, and I think that's what we're heading to. Uh, also, just hitting the wire right now, the Lebanese foreign minister is telling Reuters that Lebanon condemns Israeli strike, plans to file complaint to the U.N. Also, the Lebanese foreign minister hoping for a proportionate response by Hezbollah so that this wave of killing will stop. Uh, that is crossing the wires right now as we continue to report the breaking news. General, thanks for hopping back on with us. We'll continue to update you on this. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.